There's announcements going off everywhere in the school. I've gathered the kids. Teachers are going crazy, kids are going crazy. Hey guys, it's early again. Good morning, middle of the week, and I feel like it's going good so far. Super excited for the weekend so we can sleep in. I am super excited for that. Brandon has Ryler at the pool, so I am getting Brexit and crew up for school. This is the first day that all of the kids will be at school. All of them. Well, second day. Well, Hazy didn't have school yesterday. All of you today. So Brexton's starting his day out with some cereal, getting ready for today. Oh look, look who we have here. Kirby Dew, good morning. They're just discussing this morning and how Crew's gonna help Brexton and if Crew's gonna come see Brexton in his class again today. I'm getting lunch going. Today we have peanut butter and jelly. You guys, that's what I do most often. I need to get out of that rut. Kirby asked for carrots, so you guys, will this bag return home full or empty? Fruit snacks, hi Booty. Capri Suns, of course. Is it gonna be a good day? Yeah. Yes. Always include a little note. So probably one of the saddest things about my morning. I have to wake Hazy if she's not, because I have to leave. Hi, sweetheart. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. You look so pretty sleeping there, like sleeping beauty. When I wake up, we'll go take the boys to school. And then guess what today is? It's a school day. Yeah, it is. You get to go to school. Okay, <laughs> she's awake and happy. Hey, boys. I think those little stinkers snuck outside already. Okay, guys, let's go. Brexy, come on, Hazy, let's go. Kirby, hair check, shoes check, teeth check, lunch. Okay, you can bring your cupcakes. Let's get in the car. <coughs> Bless you. Go ahead and buckle, okay? Okay. Okay, boys, have a great day. I love you so much. Have fun today. Make good choices, okay? Love you. Bye, studs. Love you. Bye. Look who I see in carpool. Look, oh, they don't even see me. That's too bad. Getting home from taking the boys. We're in a little bit of a hurry. Hazy, we're in a little bit of a hurry. We gotta hurry and get you dressed and ready for school. Are you done with your breakfast? No, I don't know. Okay, when you're finished, we'll get you dressed. Do you wanna show them your outfit? Show everyone your outfit. Oh, you guys, Hazy was sent this from a subscriber. Awesome follower of ours. Ooh, it's a beautiful dress and a really cute headband. So we threw in some curls to make her headband look even cuter. She has a few what she calls broken nails, so we're gonna fix her nails with nail polish. Are you ready for school? Yes, my, my beautiful nails. Okay, here, I'll help you down. Two, two three. Okay, um, let's go to school. You hurt my other arm. I didn't even touch that arm. Okay, just about to drop you off, can I have a kiss? Have a good day, okay? I love you. Love you. Wow. All right, Hazy. I love you, have a good day. I know, she needs just a teeny bit more help, huh? Yes. Bye, Hazy girl, I love you. Bye, Hazy. She's not even sad. I am completely alone in the car. This, like, rarely, rarely happens unless, like, I'm running to a hair appointment. You guys, this never happens. I am gonna listen to my own music. If I get a minute. Continue straight to stay on West Center Street. If I get time, I'm gonna read my book. <gasps> This never happens. And it's like as exciting as it is, I live my whole life for the kids. It's fun to have time by myself, but really I'm just counting on the time till I get to pick them up. So it's kind of silly. This is going to be like a new phase, a new chapter for me because I've never had this before. I can go run to the grocery store by myself. I can go run and shop by myself. I can go home and fold laundry in the peace and quiet of my own home. So it's kind of awesome. It's kind of a new phase, but I'm going to enjoy it for today. I'm just going to soak it in. Moments later. I'm sitting here waiting for Brexton. I went and did the things I needed to do and one of the office ladies just came out and talked to me she's like it's your lucky day you're gonna have kids with you and I was like I know yeah I'm here to pick up Brexton she's like no you're gonna have more kids with you and I was like what are you talking about Grove City just had a water main line break so the school has no water so she's like stay where you are I'll be bringing all your kids to you which is kind of awesome the kids get like a half day of school it's 10 45 guys kids are gonna come home I don't know what we're gonna do all day I'm kind of looking forward to a quiet day <laughs> but I do miss them so I'm like actually really excited I'll probably have them come home and read or something they've been convincing me every day that they don't have to start reading yet so if you're a mom and your kids are still telling you that they don't have to read please tell me that my kids aren't telling me lies every day but usually the first week they don't have they don't have reading so we're gonna go home and hang out all day long 
Brexy, all of you guys are coming home today because there's no water at the school. They told me to stay where I'm at. They're gonna gather my other kids and bring them out to me. No water at the school means no toilets, no lunch, nothing. We're gonna wait for the other kids. There's announcements going off everywhere in the school. I've gathered the kids. Teachers are going crazy. Kids are going crazy. Kids have to go potty. They can't go potty. Hello. They're like freaking out here. I feel so bad. I says, I wish I could stay and help, but I have to go get my daughter. So guys, let's go home and hang out. Free day. Kirby just went to go get a drink. There's no water, silly no. goose. Come on, let's go home. No, there's no water. It's like an utter state of chaos in there. The poor ladies at the office. I was like, I wish I could stay and help you. Honestly, I would just stay and help. But I have to get Hazel from school. Cruise teacher's like, we have kids that have to go potty and we can't use the toilets. And they're serving lunch right now. I don't know how they're serving lunch. No sinks will work to wash hands. Kids are out today. It's basically less than a half day. So we're gonna head home and just play. You think we could go to Walmart and get the yo-yos we've been wanting? Ooh, that might be an idea. Yeah. If this just shows you what parenthood is like, you're just so excited because you get a little bit of time and then BAM! All the kids are here. All the boys are. We're gonna go get hazy. Kids are all home. It's a little bit crazy at the school, but they are handling it super well. I was really grateful for all those amazing office ladies that make our school work. How is my beautiful? How is school? Good. I saw you in there. Did you know that? I came in and peeked at you. <laughs> and your teacher was helping you because your art is kind of silly. Guess what? I got cheese in here. You got cheese in there? Yeah. Cheese in your backpack? Yeah. Okay, get in your seat, buddy. Can I buckle Hazy? Just, so this lunchroom is a little bit different than the one at school. Kids have got their lunches that I packed for them this morning. I made Hazy and Brex a lunch. Guys, this is a little bit of a different day. It's kind of fun though. Kind of fun to be home. I kind of missed you guys. Home. We are at Cruise Motocross Race tonight. He is up right now. He is Moto 9 and 14 tonight, so it's gonna be another late night. First one of the night right now. This is the Pee Wee 78. Cruise has been working on his stuff. He's been practicing a ton. He's learning how to kind of rev off the start, get your bike kind of moving a little bit so that when the gate drops, you can just go. He's starting his own bike now. Put your legs in front of your pegs and rev the engine so you're technically going, but you're holding it back with your feet. I love it. We're gonna try all that stuff right now. And when the gate goes, you. Just go. Are you going for a whole shot? Yeah. Always. The gate dropped. You're like, no! <laughs> dang, Groovy, dang. Holy cow, dude, she came off that thing strong. <laughs> Yeah, Kirby! Nice job. That was honestly, no joke, one of the best starts I've ever seen you do. You had one of your That's best starts. You like are like, like, you were on fire. All right guys, race number two of the night. Race number two, Kirby Do Feeling pretty good out of the gate. Used some of his stuff he's been practicing in the last race. It looked really good. I'm gonna try and do it again here. Cruz is currently sitting in third place right now after that start. That was an incredible start out of the gates. Kirby Doo is still sitting in third place right now. Third place. One of his better starts this season. We've had a lot of accidents today though. Just had a kid come off of this right down to there. One of our buddies is over here being attended to by paramedics right now. That one was a gnarly one right out of the gates. Just hoping so bad that he's all right. That's one of Cruz's good friends right there. <laughs> turn down here must be real muddy or tricky right now. I've seen probably five or six kids go down. Crew just went down right there, so he's moved back a little bit. This is probably 
probably been one of my least favorite races so far. Crew is thankfully still up and kicking somewhere around here. Oh, there he goes right there. There have been so many wrecks on this one. Right out of the gates, we had a huge pileup right here. We had three or four go down over there. We had a kid come over this and down. And I'm just glad, another one right at the finish line right now. I'm just glad Crew Bidu made it out of this one alive. <laughs> I don't know, dude. You crashed. You were in third place, like the whole race. You crashed on the second to last lap. But dude, so many other people went down. I don't know if you saw. You were probably so focused, you didn't even see. Like there were more crashes in that race than but I've ever seen. I have dude, he went down hard. He had the paramedics come out. His face is bloody and stuff. We should go check on him, make sure he's okay, dude. He's toughing it out like a stud. I think that's a good sharing box. Do you think it's a good sharing box? I want I love you. I came late just because with it's Hazy's a little different cast, than the school year. Hazy's cast. And also, I just don't want her running and falling, and there's nothing to entertain her here. And now we're leaving early because rather have swim in the morning. So yes, guys, we're doing a little divide and conquer tonight. We've got two cars here. Mom's gonna take all the kids home besides crew. I'm gonna sit behind. He's gonna do his last two races of the night, last two motos of the night. Gotta get that straight. Riley's got early morning swim. That is way too late of a night. As you can see, the sun has set. We're gonna be here till like 10 o'clock for sure. Home around 11, I bet. When you gotta get up at 5.30. That's early. So. I'm gonna space. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> they're gonna take off, but before they go, guys, we wanna do something special. You guys know that Brian and the folks at Edge Power Sports have been the ones that have made all this possible, and we want to, we've been trying to think, like, what can we do to help them out? What can we do for them? Because they've been so cool to us. So we have an idea, and it's gonna benefit you guys, too. We're gonna be giving away a signed, this is how we bring them hat, and the winner will choose the hat, so it could be the dad hat, it could be the wool hat, whatever hat you guys choose. Our whole entire family will sign it. We're gonna give away one of those hats. Give away two. All you have to do is click the link in the description below, and it'll open up the contest page. To enter this contest, you have to follow at Edge Power Sports. I will put that on the screen, and I'll put it in the description on Instagram. They're close to 10,000. If you guys know Instagram, when you hit 10,000, especially for businesses, it opens up a lot it of cool tools. It awesome. It's way sweeter. So we thought that's what we can do for them. They're so close. They're closing in on 10,000. Let's get them to 10,000. Go and follow them. And then a bonus entry if you follow at Bryson Green 5. So you, you guys get two know Bryson. entries. He's the one that's been training crew and has done so much for him. Let's show him some love too. Get a bonus entry and go. So like showing some love. Enter the contest by clicking the link below. Make sure you enter twice. You can get the bonus entry plus the original entry. Follow both of them on Instagram. And we're going to be giving away a Bingham family hat signed by everyone in the family. You guys also have to follow us too, right? Yeah, you better follow us. You, you better follow us. Follow us at this <laughs> what are you doing? How are you not following us? <laughs> second place right now. Go Kirby, go, go, go! What a champ. Maybe 
best race of your life, dude. Kirby dude just finished up his last race of the night, last moto. Dude, probably maybe your best one of the whole series, dude. Maybe your best one of the season. You were so strong, so strong off the gates. I can't wait to go back and watch that, dude, because I had the camera facing backwards. So I can't wait to see you head for that whole shot, dude. It's time to pack this stuff up. Hey, you got a school day in the morning. We gotta get home and get into bed. It's a pretty late night. When you're a boss motocross racer, that's what you do. I love you, dude. Late night at the track, sweaty night. Gosh, I didn't know I was so greasy looking. That's a wrap for tonight, you guys. Crew's strongest race probably of the season was the last race of the night. So glad Mana and Papa actually stuck around. We're able to witness it. So proud of you, dude. So strong out of the gates tonight. All the things that you practiced came through tonight and you saw that those small, subtle changes that you made made huge differences. I don't think you've been that close to whole shot this whole season and you almost got it twice. Did you get it on the second race or were you second? I was second. Because I had the camera facing backwards and you definitely looked like you were first, but you were second to the whole shot two races in a row. Amazing, bro. So proud of you. Do you want to say anything? Thanks everybody for watching. Make sure to subscribe. This has been so much fun and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye everybody. Good night. Flying out of the gate these days. I love it.